أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبع بالإسلام لا مدين إخوتي الأفاضل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome to the North Brixton Islamic Cultural Center for another episode of our another episode of our weekly lecture lectures or sessions. Here in London, today be it in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is a continuation as well um, of our lessons learned from the Quran. We're going to look at Surah Nur, Surah Nur, chapter twenty-four, verse forty-one, inshallah, onwards. With me as usual, I have my Sheikh, Sheikh Dr. Faisal Bouadi, and um, I'm going to recite. Ayat verses as usual, and explain the nutshell meaning of this ayat to you. And thereafter, I pass the mic to my able humble Sheikh, a Sheikh, a Doctor Faisal Boadi. Um, pardon me today, my voice somehow affected with cold. Testing your voice. Yeah, okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر أن الله يسبح له من في السماوات والأرض والطير الصافات والطير الصافات كل قد علم صلاته وتسبيحه والله عليم بما يفعلون ولله ملك السماوات والأرض وإلى الله المصير ألم تر أن الله يسجي سحابا ثم يؤلف بينه ثم يؤلف بينه ثم يجعله ركاما فترى الودق يخرج من خلاله وينزل من السماء من جبال فيها من برد فيها من برد فيصيب به من يشاء ويصرف عن من يشاء يكاد سنا برقه يكاد سنا برقه يذحب بالأبصار يقلب الله الليل والنهار إن في ذلك لعبرة لأول الأبصار Allah says, Alam tara anna Allah, don't you see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yusabbih lah is being glorified man fi samawat wal ard by those in the skies above and the earth below. والطير الصافات and even the birds when they open their wings they outspread their wings up the sky there they praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala كل قد علم صلاته وتسبيحه each one knows its own mode of prayer and praise they do والله عليم بما يفعلون الله سبحانه وتعالى knows well all that they do ولله ملك السماوات والأرض to Allah سبحانه وتعالى belong the dominion of the skies above and the earth below وإلى الله المصير and indeed to Allah is the return ألم تر أن الله يسجي الصحابة ثم يؤلف بينه ثم يجعله ركامة؟ Allah said, don't you see that Allah سبحانه وتعالى made the clouds move gently, then joins together all of them. Then Allah سبحانه وتعالى will make it become a heap of rain, and that heap will happen. 
فترى الودق يخ يخرج من خلاله وينزل من السماء من جبال فيها من برد when it becomes a heap it then produce or descend rain from its midst brings down the rain it sends it down from the sky and make masses of clouds and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُصِفُ عَمْ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it strike upon those he pleases and also as well he will turn it away from the those or whom he pleases he said يَكَادُ سَنَ بَرْقِهِ يَذْحَبُ بِالْأَبْصَارِ sometimes the vivid of the flash or the lightning of that rain when the rain wants to fall especially for us who live in Africa you see what happens even here anyway it nearly takes the sights away to make someone blind the lightning the yeah sometimes he wants it could make or nearly snatch someone's sights away يُقَلِّبُ اللَّهُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who alternates, changes the night and the day. He brings the night now, where is the day? And he will bring the day as well, he takes the night away. Subhanallah. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَا عِبَرَ Allah said all these are lessons, are signs. لِأُولِ الْأَبْسَارِ for people who have good vision to see the truth. May Allah make us be amongst them, Ya Kareem. May your brothers and sisters in the team, without much ado, I will pass the mic now to the Abul Sheikh to tell us lessons learned. Bi idhni Allahi Ta'ala. Fila tafadil Sheikh. Mashkur. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf wa salam bin Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashraf wa salam alihi wa ba'd. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله تبارك الله سبحانه وتعالى تبي أمام دليبين وارس أبدا ذي الوقت. يا بيل فورتينيت. وانس أجين الله has given us another chance. so today is called what day? present day. present day means what? gift day. Allah has given this day to us as a present, as a gift. Because there were some people who were with us, maybe in the morning, but now they are not more. Isn't it? So it is a present day Allah has given to us. It's a gift day. And we must cherish it. And worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everybody knows the rights of Allah upon us, isn't it? What is that? That you should worship him. There are the three main ones that you have to do as a right upon us. What Tawheed. Isn't it? Ta'budullah wa la tushirku bihi shay'a. You worship Allah without making partners with him. Okay? So, that is the first one. And, and the ibadah, the worship. That you have to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I have said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ لِجِنَّ وَلِإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create what? The jinn and mankind except. So our purpose in this life is to worship Allah. So it's the right of Allah. And the third one is ash-shukur. What is the meaning of shukur? Thanks, mashallah. To be grateful to Allah. Okay? That's what I has said. La in shakartum, la azidan nakum. So if you become grateful to Allah, Allah will do what? Add one cases for us. So may Allah bless us all the time. Here, uh, I am 41. I don't know. I have time. So. Hmm. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started with something here. I'm sure everybody see it. He said, Alam Tara. 
Alam tar. What's the first sentence? If you look in your Quran, what's the first sentence says? See down. So what is the verb there? See. See. Isn't it? Good. Why Allah started that one with C? With what do we see? With our eyes. Good. But is that the only thing that we see with? What else do you see with? What else? Your mind. And what else? Your what? Your heart. What's the difference between heart and mind? That is mind. Huh? That's mind. The heart. Oh, the heart is mind. And the mind is heart. Allah Akbar. Yes, Allah. That's very true. I love it. But you're using this uh, different head. What is your mind? What is the mind? Mind is the head. In the head. And what is your heart? The heart is in the belly. In the belly. I love that. <laughs> 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 the yes. It's the heart. That's the it's the heart. It's the heart. That is the mind. things. If your mind is not there, you'll be looking at something. You don't see it. Even if you are charged, you cannot. Yes. Feel. For if you are too distracted, if you are distracted, something like that sort, mm -hmm. you'll be looking for certain things right in front of you because your mind is not there. You will not be to see it. You will not, you will not be conscious. Okay. Well, now let's see. Allah is telling us something. I'm sure everybody knows that one. And I want to test you all to see which one comes after that. Allah has said, that's what I not that's the one, man. You read the Quran, you know. That's the one, man. Jahim. Summa. All right, mashallah. Now you have got these visions here. Seen here. About the hellfire. Isn't it? He said. If you really do it and so forth, you will see the hellfire here. Okay? And then the next one, you will go and see it with your what? Yes. Some people call it what? Ummul Ain. That means the mother of your own eyes. You will go and see it with your own eyes. So, which one Allah is talking about here? The first one is what? First, you will see it, and the second, one, you will see it with your, with your eyes. With your eyes. Certainty. So the first one is what? With your mind. No? With your mind. With your mind. You see it. With your mind. Anyone else? You see it in reality. That is consciously. Consciously. Here. Yes. Okay. In this world. When? How? Okay. No. Can I can I help you for you to get something here? Allah said the Sheikh mentioned the ayah. He said, "La tarawunna jahim." You know what is jahima? Huh? Is what? Hellfire. Now you will see it. In the eye. Mm -hmm. There are so many advices they're giving us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down to us for us to follow. Okay. If we don't follow it, we will see it. How? But sometimes Where? people don't believe we will see it and they start feeling, they, they start paying the consequences in this dunya first, minorly. And when they die, they see reality. This is the hellfire Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was telling us. Now you can see it with your own eyes, certainty. So in other words, uh, if I understand what you're saying, 
is whatever difficulties the person may going through or may go through in this dunya it's part of the jahim well sometimes it cannot be because uh, it's not think... any difficulties that can be jahannam okay yes. so the evil person yes okay. that was Between classified as part of this isn't it and when he drowned in the Red Sea, mm -hmm. I think that's the time he believed he wanted to say the Kalima word. So that's when he saw the Jahim first. That, yes, that's the So time for you, now, at the point of death, yes. he sees Jahim. Yes, and he wants to repent. So oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's not only at the point of death. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is trying to say in a figurative way that when somebody figurative way, yes, yes, okay, if somebody doing evil, he will not have peace in himself. Okay, the worriness in himself, he will always be worried. He will never have peace. Salam. Okay. In other words, the person's life will be a narrow life. Narrow life. Okay, so that's a jahim for him. Yes. Mashallah. Okay. Mashallah. So which one Allah is talking about here? Because you are talking about seeing with your own sight with your heart and your mind isn't it? good now the, the one that Allah is talking about here he said don't you see that everything in the skies and also on the earth and inside the earth all of them do what they praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how do you know that this, they are praising Allah? That's why it is very, very important. You have to be very careful. Once Allah has told us that every one of them, they praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it goes with a toy, the bird. Imagine the bird is just flying in the sky. Everybody is looking at the sky to see if the bird is flying there. Okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it is praising Allah and praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How, do, how does that mean? So all these creeping creatures that are going up and down and so on and so forth that's why they said if it is not harming you, you do not disturb it. So if you see a little ant going, what are you supposed to do? You have to kill it? A little ant? No. You do not. Unless if it bites you or something like that. Once it does not, maybe that's the time it is making its despair. And you are going to kill it for it to stop making the tasbih to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You all remember the history and the story of Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam when there was no rain and they were going to pray Salatul Istisqa. Everybody knows Salatul Istisqa, is it? The Salat that you pray to ask Allah for what? For rain. So while they were going, with all their animals and the people, the jinn and everyone. You know uh, Prophet Suleiman alayhi salam, Allah bless him. When he is coming, not these bodyguards that you have here. No. Elephant, you name it, tigers and so on, for all of them. The jinn and everything. And while he was going, he saw a little ant that was lying down with his legs up. He told the people, let's go back. He said, but you didn't go and pray yet. You came out to do what? To pray. In order to get what? Rain. He said, yes. He said, but you did not. He said, somebody had already prayed for us. He said, who? He showed them that little ant that was lying down with his what? His apples. He said that ant had already.
pray to Allah, ask Allah for the rain. So let's go. They did not, as soon as they turned the cloud, the rain just came without even the sky becoming black as normally you used to have it. Look, should in case you see this ant, and you go and kill it. You go and kill that ant. Who did not disturb you? Who did not harm you? So each one of them, they have known. And the birds and other things and so forth. For example, if you are going somewhere and you see uh, birds eating something, you do not go and walk by where they are so that they will do what? That way? Why? You have intention, the need that, oh, I don't want to go and disturb them because now they want to eat so they become strong and go and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praise Allah. With this kind of intention, the need that you have, it has become a sadaqah for you. It has become a sadaqah for you that you did not disturb them. Okay, mashallah, I think now it's time for you to go and pray and seek forgiveness for all the ants you've killed. <laughs> and the bats you've disturbed. Yeah. Inshallah, we come back on the second session. As alayhi wa sallam, we give bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salam ala mubarathi rahmatin lil'alameen. Muhammad ibn Abdullah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi. Wa man tabi'a ugli sallam abideen. My brothers and sisters, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah and forgive our sins and grant all of us al jannah ghayri hisab. I welcome once more again to the second part of our session tonight at the North Brixen Islamic Cultural Center here in London. Um, it's a continuation of where we stopped um, before Salah. The Sheikh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him and his family and grant all of them al jannah was talking about um, the nature of objects, different objects and creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, how they worship Allah and um, however the Sheikh was talking about the birds as well he said when they fly up the sky they outspread um, their wings praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should not disturb the birds when they are, they are having their meal of food and also as well some of these ants, if they don't disturb you or even hurt you, do not kill them. Without much ado, I'll pass the mic now to the able Sheikh to continue for it. Fadila Sheikh Mashkura. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Sheikh Musa Rabbina. Alhamdulillah wa alihi wa sallam wa ala Alhamdulillah, you are still alive. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make us among those who have said Zakirin Allah Kathiram wa Zakirat. Those who remember Allah most in terms of males and females. May Allah make us among them. Uh, well, you're talking about Tasbih. And you know, the, the surah that came to announce the death of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is that surah? The surah that came to announce the death of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What surah? Zaja Nasrullah. Okay. Zaja Nasrullah. Well, everybody knows that surah, is it? Yes. All right. Then let's all read it together and see if you were there that time. And this surah was being revealed. And here you are, Prophet wasallam, telling you that the one that you love too much in the world is now about to leave you. How will you feel? Let's all read together, inshallah. <laughs> Yeah. 
No, 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 no. Can we start again? That's not, it's not organized. Sorry. I want the brothers to surprise me and make me feel proud. Because the sisters are now, mashallah, doing better. Shall we start again, please? Together. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim you know what I've learned to hear? The women, they take their time when they do things. <laughs> Men, hey, they want to get. It's done quick. You see, they say they are rushing. <laughs> We're enjoying the ride. Subhanallah. Okay, can you repeat after me once more? Inshallah. Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Idha jaa ar rahman ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا You see, that is the surah that came to announce the death of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And you know, Abdullah ibn Abbas, he was a very young, small child. And he used to be with the elders. Whenever Umar was going over, he used to go with him. So those elders, they did not like this small child all the time when he's coming. So Umar ibn Khattab wanted them to know why he always used to bring this child with him. So he read this surah and asked the elders, what do you think about this surah? What do you know about this surah? And some people, they said that, that one said this, that one said that. Then when he finished, he said, My son, what do you say about it? He said, This is the surah that came to announce the death of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when you see a lot of people entering into the deen, know that by that time, your mission is what? Accomplished. But what are you supposed to do? When your mission has been accomplished, what do you do? You go in the street, dancing, as some people they do. They get something and so forth, victory or something about that, you see them you see dancing. No. He said, what are you supposed to do? Praising Allah. rabbik. Wastaghfir. Innahu That's what you're supposed to do. You don't go in the street and so forth with a car and so forth, blowing the horns and then dancing. No. Maybe you may even die during that time. Then a person will be raised up, Yomal Qiyama, on what? Yes, how you left this world. So if you, you left by dancing in the street, you get up and then dance, and all the shiatim says, he said, look at him. He said, he's a Muslim. He's with us now. He said, for sabbih, bihamd rabbika, what's that? So, you have to make istighfar. And one of the greatest things that you make is this one. I'm sure everybody knows. And everybody should do this things several times. Okay? 
سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلقه ورضا نفسه وزلة عرشه وميدان كلماته سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلقه ورضا نفسه وزلة عرشه وميداد كلماته This is so great There are very few but it is very 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 important It says Subhanallah Everybody knows the meaning of Subhanallah What is the meaning of Subhanallah? Glory be to Allah Wa bihamdihi And his word His praises I said Adad khalqihi That means According to The number Of his creation You know the number of his creation? Hmm? If you take even a sun like this in your hand, can you count them? No. You cannot even the sun. In your hand like this, you cannot even count them. Okay? And then his rigo. It means his favors, his appreciation. All these things like the creations that he has created. And not only that, the zinnat, the weight, was zinnat, and the weight of Arshidi is what? Do you know the weight of his throne? No. Look. <laughs> you see, the the weight of the uh, of the throne of Allah, nobody knows. And you are saying that all that become as a praise to you, O oh Allah. Everybody knows what is kalima. Kalima is what? No, I said kalima means what? Kalima. Kalima. The word. Kalima. The word. What is the name of Midad? Huh? You do not know. Better that you don't know because you will never know a heart of them. The ink that you use to write his what? His words. Do you know how many of it? This is so a very very great tasbih. Mm. You know the one who Professor Asama taught of his wife. What was her name? It it no. It start with Jim. It start with Jim. Jewelria, mashallah. Yes, Allah. You have ten points. <laughs> You know, Professor Masalama left her while she was praying and she was making tasbih. SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, SubhanAllah. Professor Masalama went to the market side. He did whatever he has to do and then he came back and saw her doing the same tasbih. He make, she was making tasbih. So he said, are you still in your same place? He said, yes. Making a strong say. If I left you, I did everything and so forth and came back and found you the same place, he said yes. He said, you know, I can tell you a few words that it will be outnumber what you have been doing since you sat and doing it. And doing that, subhanAllah, subhanAllah. And this is what he taught her. There are only five, isn't it? 
Can you say them again? Hmm? There are only five, isn't it? Subhanallah, O Bihamdihi, Adada Khalqihi, O Riba, O Zinata, O Midada. Subhanallah. These are five words. But if you say this about ten times or so, it's more than someone sitting down there saying Subhanallah, Subhanallah, about a thousand times. Mm -hmm. And subhanAllah, you can say this thing when you are walking, you are moving and so forth, or you are sitting down. You can say this thing, very simple, isn't it? Yeah, only five words. Five words, you should have learned it now. It is very simple. I think you know it. You said it's a shirt. I don't have the. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm not being selfish. <laughs> All I want to All right. learn from you. <laughs> so, now the tasbih is very, very important. It is not only human beings who make tas tasbih and so forth. For example, when you read Surah Ra'at, which is Quran chapter 13, ayah 13, 1 3, 1 3. Surah so Ra'at. Everybody knows what is rad, isn't it? When you hear it, what do you do? Huh? Hmm? You want to run? Or you want to run? Run. That's a thunder. Rad. When you hear it, and especially, you know, back home, sometimes it calls and hit a big tree, isn't it? And then fire. Right. Imagine this one happening to hit me or you. Yeah? A big tree. Split it. Fire. Let's see what it does. Fire. What's the word? 13. Surah 13. Surah 13. What is it? Verse 1. 13. What verse? 13. 13. Surah 13. Verse 13. Okay, see here. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ويسبح الرعد بحمده والملائكة من خيفته ويرسل السواعق ويرسل السواعق فيصيب بها من يشاء وهم يجادلون في الله وهو شديد المحال الله صد ويسبح الرعد الله صد الطندة الطندة سبحان الله بريسس الله سبحانه وتعالى ويسبح الرعد بحمده الطندة صنت الله and praises, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorifying Allah. وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ مِنْ خِيْفَةِ And the angels, they do praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Under Allah's control, they praise Allah subhanallah. And Allah said, مِنْ خِيْفَةِ of course. Under His own control, they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and under Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Vision. وَيُرْسِلُ سَوَاعِقَ فَيُصِيبُ بِهَا مَنْ يَشَاءُ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings down sin, the loud voice, thunderbolts. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it strikes whomever Allah wills. وَهُمْ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي اللَّهِ وَهُوَ شَدِيدُ الْمِحَالِ While they're disputing about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is the mighty in power. Subhanallah. Imagine the thunder that you are running away from. What is coming? He is praising Allah. Glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. This is amazing. It is amazing. 
That's why Allah has said in Surah Isra, Quran chapter 17, ayah 44. Surah Isra, the ayah 24. 44? Oh, okay. Ayah 17, yeah? Sorry. Chapter 17. The ayah is ayah 44. The ayah is 24, yeah? Don't go with my flow. So they. Allah says, To subbihu lahu samawatu sab'u wa la ardu wa man fihin wa in min shay'in illa yusabbihu bihamdihi wa lakin la tafqa'una tasbihahum innahu kana haliman ghafura Allah says, To subbihu lahu samawatu sab'u he said the seven heavens itself send praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One earth and the earth, this earth, this seven earth, praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. And not only that, Allah said, وَمَنْ فِيهِمْ All that is in the skies above and the earth below praises Allah. They praise Allah. Allah said, Wa in min shay'in illa yusabbihu bihamdi. Even the food that you eat. Subhanallah. Allah said everything, including what the Sheikh said, the food that you eat. Praise is Allah. Allah said, All this celebrates Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in praise. Walakin la tafqa'una tasbihahum. And I said, but you do not know the mannerism, the way and how they praise Allah. They praise Allah. You don't know. That's how it is. You don't know how they praise Allah. In Nahu, indeed, or verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, kana haliman. He is of bearing, of bearing, of bearing, sorry. And also as well, ghafoor. He is the most forgiving God. He's oft forbearing. And the most... What do you understand about oft forbearing? Hmm? Halim. Someone who is Halim. Uh, uh, soft heart. So... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always look at us and is very, very subtle, gentle towards us. Imagine all these heavy, heavy things. They are celebrating of names of Allah, praising Him. And you, human being, tiny human being, you say, Me, I can, I will not worship, I will not do this, I will not do that. So in Surah 21, Ayah 19 to 23, Surah Al Anbiya. Surah Al Anbiya. Verse 19. 23, yeah? No. 21. 21. Chapter 21. Yeah. Verse 19. 19 to 20. <laughs> I thought I'm the only one who is sick today. I thought I'm the only one. So we have many of them. <laughs> Forgive me today. Just. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani ur-rajim. Wa lahu man fi s-samawati wa l-ard. Wa man a'indahu la yastakbirun an ibadati wa la yastahsirun. يسبحون الليل والنهار لا يفترون 
أم اتخذوا آلهة من الأرض هم ينشرون لو كان فيهما آلهة إلا الله لفسدتا فسبحان الله فسبحان الله رب العرش أما يسفون لا يسأل عما يفعل وهم يسألون سبحان الله الله صد وله من في السماوات والأرض to him Allah belong all the creatures in the skies above and the earth below Allah owns you ومن عنده لا يستكبرون even those who are with Allah سبحانه وتعالى the angels سبحان الله Allah said they are not too proud to serve Allah أنا عبادتك for them to worship Allah never and at the same time Allah said ولا يستحسرون they are not ever weary of his worship or service sorry they do exactly as they are told never would they be tired subhanallah Allah said يسبحون الليل they glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praise Allah in the night wal nahar and day la yafturun they don't get tired say okay no I'm tired now I have to relax no Continuously. Subhanallah. Ami takhadu alihatan min al-ard hum yunshirun. Allah said, Oh, have they taken for worship gods beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from this earth that can raise them from dead? Is there any God that can do that? Subhanallah. No. Allah said, لو كان فيهما I love this ayah so much Subhanallah If you have doubts This is the ayah that gives you certainty لو كان فيهما آلهة إلا الله Allah said if there were any other gods Besides Allah Of the skies above And the earth below If there is any other god Or there were any other gods Besides Allah Lafasadata. The seven skies above and the earth below would have crushed and finished. Why? <laughs> they will fight each other, right? That one will say no. Thank you. Look what Shek is saying. What's going on in the world? Everyone wants power. I am the boss. I am the leader. And that God would have said, no problem. You know what? I want London to worship me. And the other one said, okay, Africa worship me. And so they say, no, no, I don't want that one. So they fight. What do you expect? If the two bosses, they fight, what happened? Allah said, La fasadata. If there were any other gods besides me, Allah, the whole earth and the skies above, all would have crushed, including the creation. For subhanallah. Glory be to you, Allah. Subhanallah, we glorify you, Allah. Rabbil Arsh, the Lord of the throne. The greatest throne. Anna Yasifun. He is far distant from what they class him to be. Those who say Allah has a child, may Allah forbid that. Those who say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is begotten. Those who worship someone else besides Allah, Allah said, Anna Yasifun. Subhanallah. He is far distance away from this. La yusal anna yafal. Allah cannot be questioned. For what he does. No, no one can question him. But amazingly, we will all be questioned the day of judgment for our deeds. Seventy-eight to seventy-nine, the same I am um, chapter, chapter twenty-one. Go there, seventy-eight to seventy-nine. All right. Okay. <clears throat> 78 
to 79. That's what we're going to do now. The same chapter, chapter 21. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa Dawood wa Sulaiman idh yahkumani fi laharthi idh nafashat. Idh nafashat fihi ghanamul qawm. Wa kunna li hukmihim shahideen. ففهمناها سليمان وكلنا آتينا حكما وعلما وسخرنا مع داود الجبال يسبحن والطير وكنا فاعلين الله سيس إسد وداود وسليمان and remember, David, Dawood, and Solomon, Suleiman, their story, beautiful story. When they gave judgments in the matter of the field, a garden. The garden of farm into which the sheep of certain people destroyed. They went there and then destroyed the garden. It's everything. Allah said, I witnessed the judgments. Allah was aware of the judgments. We don't want to go to the story, Sheikh will tell you. Allah said, the son and the child, right? I mean, and the father, sorry. The father and the son. So who is the, who was the father here? Hmm? David. David. Dawood. And the son? Sulaiman. MashaAllah. They are all, MashaAllah, prophets. Allah bless them. May Allah continue to bless all of us. Allah said, Fafahamnaha Sulaiman. Allah said, but I inspired the right judgment to who? Suleiman, Suleiman got the better understanding of that judgment. The son, subhanAllah. Allah said, وَكُلَّنْ آتَيْنَا حُكْمًا وَعِلْمًا Allah said, to each of them, Allah gave the understanding of judgments and knowledge. And Allah continues saying in the hadith, وَسَخَّرْنَا مَعْ دَاوُودِ He said, I subjected to Dawood السلام, to control Al Jibal, the mountains. Sorry, Sakharna. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he made or subjected actually with Dawood Al Jibal Yusabihna wa Tayr. Praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the Jibal, the mountains and the birds. SubhanAllah. وَكُنَّا فَاعِلِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this was Allah who did it all of this to happen for all of this to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Sulaiman وَعَلَّمْنَاهُ is it? oh sorry 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 so you see, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us all these creatures and so forth, all of them do what? Praise Allah. And the story that Allah was talking about with regards to David and his uh, son, Sulaiman, alayhi wa salam, when both of them were there, there was one man who came and complained about his field that someone had his sheep went inside and what did he do it had the cover and so forth so Dawood said well if that is the case you have to take the sheep however because he had destroyed the yard and the son or there and said oh dad I think they can do it in another way. 
You say, what is that? He says, since the cross, it can come back again, he can grow it back again, and so on and so forth. Okay? And this person, this is the only sheep that he has. Okay. So, my suggestion is that the farmer takes the sheep until next year when his crops and everything will come back. So he can make use of the milk and so on and so forth of what? Of the other. And at the end of the year, he returns to his owner. And the father agreed to that. And subhanAllah, Allah mentioned it here. But the shahid here is that all of them, they used to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the most important. They used to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So praising of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the greatest thing we have to do. Allah you will be happy. Adad khalqihi wa ridha nafsihi wa zinat arshihi wa mitad kalimati Subhanallah wa bihamdi Adad khalqihi wa ridha nafsihi wa zinat arshihi wa mitad kalimati can we read it? Huh? Yes. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll give you the money. I'm waiting for you. Uh huh. If we shake now, say the men should be. We are protesting. Okay. Sure. No, easy. No, Z. Z mm. Yeah, Z, not Z. Z means mm. the Z is Zina. Yeah. Decoration. Is Zina. Is the weight. Mm. Is the weight. Mm. Are we ready? I want you to read. I want to hear the man. From the beginning, I said I don't know it. You teach me. But subhanallah. Okay. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. عدد خلقي ورضا نفسي وزينة عرشي وزينة عرشي ومداد كلماتي Mind you, this is transliterated, you know, transliteration. So, some of the letters, that's why I read it, like this is خ. Yeah, kha. It's just when you become familiar with it. I cannot give you the right pronunciation until you repeat it after me. Like this, Subhanallah wa bihamdi. This is Ain here. Adada. Adada. Ain. Adada. Khalqihi. Khalqihi. Waridha. Nafsihi Again Not thou, no reader If you say da, it's done When you say do, it's do Rida is this one here This is Rida Rida, the Rida is like a scarf but this one is Waridha or Ridha. 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 Yeah? So it's this. Waridha Nafsihi. Actually, they said I should take this one. It's true. Now remember. They hitch out. Waridha Nafsihi. Sorry, my voice. Uh huh. Wazi Nata. Wazi Nata Arshihi. 
This is Ain Ar. Look at it. Ar Shihi. Throne. Right? Wazinata Ar Shihi. Wamidada Kalimati. Beautiful. Can we try? Okay, let's go. Uh huh. Again? It's Ain, though. Adada Khalqihi. Uh huh. Uh huh. Again? Uh huh. Okay. That's fine. What's the meaning? <laughs> today I like your questions. Your questions are not for me today. <laughs> he said, Where can we find it in the Quran? It's not there in the Quran. It's a Sunnah, the Hadith. When can we get some class to learn these things from you? Try, come on to find the class. Come to find the class. Why are they attacking me today? They said I don't want to teach them. I want to teach them. Come to find the class. Is it Zinati or Zinata? Zinat. Here. Is T Z Nata? Is E? Is A? No, that's how I write A. It's not E. It's A. Don't you see? That's how I put like this. No, no, no. Check, check, check. Who do you call Kalki? How do you ask? لا يزال الخير حيا لا يزال إن في الدنيا سلام.